Hey guys, welcome back to Forest Parents. Like we promised in our last video, we will be guiding all of you how to apply to a dental school and also the documents that are needed to be submitted to the dental school, how to write them, how to go about submitting them. So this is our first video on that statement of purpose. Now, what is a statement of purpose? When you're applying to dental school, you must have seen all the required documents that are asking that you have to submit, the requirements, and that says personal statement or a statement of purpose. Now, if you're like me, um, what I do is when I hear something that I don't know, I would just go to Google and have already Google so statement of purpose. Now you will get so many results, Berkeley Graduate Division, SAH.com, Princeton Review, Grad School, and just like there's like many, many sites or when you go to images, you will actually see a lot, lot, lot for engineering, PhD, college, university, grad school, so many templates, how to write a statement of purpose, a accounting PhD statement, so many. But the question here is the first question after seeing all this that comes to my mind and would come to anyone's mind is what exactly is a statement of purpose? Why am I even am writing a statement of purpose? So why are you writing a statement of purpose because statement of purpose is like a letter of motivation it's like a letter of motivation that you address to the school to the admission committee to the respective program showing why am i so interested and then the next question would be why is the school so interested right i'm applying to the dental school i know my aim i know my goals why the school wants to know so from the reason that the school wants to know what are your motivation is so that the school would not have any troubles with you in future as to keep motivating you uh, they know that you are the kind of person who's researched the program who know what's next in that next coming three years or four years how hard the program would be how much effort would be needed uh, from your side to complete the course how um, how much motivation is needed. So that's the whole point in the statement of purpose. If you're motivated, if your reasonings are that you that you have to get into dental school because of whatever reason, they know that if you're the right candidate for their respective program or not, right? Now, another question that is, is statement of purpose or personal statement? What should I write? So statement of purpose and personal statement are not very different when you think about them. They are ultimately the letter of motivation. The difference comes in how you write. If you are the kind of person who wants to highlight your career goals and thereby um, suggest that these are the reasons or justify that these are the reasons I'm applying to a program, you are the kind, you will be writing a, basically a statement of purpose. But if you are writing about your individual background and then the reasons, like your personal reasons, are used to justify uh, your your educational goals and your achievements, then you are probably writing uh, a personal statement. So they are both letter of motivations, but one is going to focus on your educational background, on your academic achievements and from there on justifying your further career goals. Whereas a personal statement would be talking about your personal reasons, like my family is a dentist family, or I've had I've myself got, got in a lot of pain and trouble and I wanted to benefit the community. Those kind of reasonings, and that would be making your personal statement. But at the end of the day, both are letter of motivations, and both will be equally good in justifying your reasons to the dental school as to why they should take you or and because you're so motivated right now once you've established that I'm writing a statement of purpose or a personal statement just like we saw that when you go to Google you will see a lot of templates and if you can see here there's a dentistry personal statement sample which is um, written uh, I mean which is actually a personal statement so yeah the person whoever is written is is actually mentioned his personal reasons he likes people to smile he wants to do something from the community he's worked as a dental assistant so he knows a lot about the program about how dentistry is going to be for him and how his dexterity and how his personal experience is making him a good candidate for the school we will be talking about 
what is and what should be there in your statement of purpose um, letter in another video but this is this is just a guideline on where to start and, and what is a statement of purpose so you know what you are looking at and when you are going to write right now once we've established okay the, i'm writing a personal statement of state of purpose you know a template like you have a template you know okay it should be a one page it should be in paragraphs like in probably two to three or three to four paragraphs and i'm writing for a grad school or i'm applying for dds the next question that you address is should it be a customized pro, uh, letter or should it be um, a general letter so when you're applying to when you're applying to a dds program you know a cafe website or the access you will come across uh, they say if you go to their site and you click on what is a personal statement and how it should be like they will mention about what a personal statement uh, is for these programs so if you see they say keep your topic general follow the prompt keep the statement general at as uh, this essay sent to all the programs so you know now that the this one statement will be sent to all the schools it's a generalized statement that you have to write but even in the generalized statement you have to decide what really you want so that it does talk to the particular school that you really want and again like i'm saying in the next video we will be talking about what exactly goes in that statement of letter what exactly is appealing to the admission committee and it tells them that you are a motivated student whereas if you go to the um, ada pass site they talk about personal statement as one may be requested for each program although it is acceptable to reuse one statement for each request so this kind of a thing it could be a customized you can apply it uh, you can write one statement of purpose for each dental school each dental school program that you're applying to and you can customize it to their program i've been using this word customize what what is the difference in each school right i mean we are applying to a dental program everyone will be teaching us or to a perio if it's a dds or if you're going for a specific perio or prosto or ortho there is a specific uh, things everyone will be talking about so what is there in a customized letter we will be discussing these specific points in the next video but for now let's come to the recipe now this is all in a step by step after establishing i'm applying i'm writing a personal statement or a statement of purpose am i writing a customized or am i writing a generalized statement what is required for a good motivation letter for a good motivation letter the main ingredients that you need are one very important is knowledge of self goals and the school it is very important you have to know your reasons you have to really go in deep and think it it, it, it is easier to say that you have to write a statement of purpose but believe me when i say that you require a lot of in depth a knowledge about yourself about your goals and then later comes the school how it aligns with that particular school for most of us or most of the students it is applying to any dental school and just getting out and you know be a dentist from that dental school it does not really matter if it aligns but at least for the letter purposes you should know how is your goals aligning with the school okay your motivation that comes from knowing yourself and that if you know your goal if you know the reasons only then you can actually put it on paper honesty never ever bluff on your motivation letter never ever talk about things you've not done because believe me you might actually like something and the school will even call you for an interview but when they're interviewing you and they ask you certain questions from a statement of purpose it's very easy for anyone to figure out if you've bluffed or you were honest so always put only honest material on your statement of purpose experience and writing skills by experience what i mean is that experience your experience should be highlighted nicely in any kind of experience should be highlighted in your motivation letter writing skills now again we will talk about this in the next video as not everyone has a good writing skill so what do i do if i don't have a good writing skill we'll cover that topic 
and last of all the main ingredient that goes into your safe and a purpose is a readiness to be a critic and accept criticism when you write a statement of purpose not every time you are not every Uh, time you write a statement of purpose it would be a perfect statement of purpose like you might have to write some people have to write 15 20 times to get that perfect statement of purpose for some they might even get it in one to two time so readiness to be a critic you have to criticize your work for that work to come out nice and good and presentable and accept criticism not everyone now we all say yeah, yeah i'm a very good you know i'm ex- good at accepting criticism and even i say that but yes when a friend comes or someone will tell me this is just nothing this is crap this is the worst you can write it ever you are not going to accept it because according to you you put so much effort into it right if i put one hour what i put out almost a two hour i google i looked at other statement of purposes and that's where i say accept criticism show it to your friends show it to your biggest critic show it to someone who will not like anything you write because believe me the best work comes out when a lot of people criticize it and they put in their views and then you start writing something you will actually find whole lot of difference between the writing that you had written the first time and what you write in the the end the end product okay so criticism is is a very important ingredient for a good statement of purpose and next and the last uh, uh, slide for this particular video is a customized personal statement step when i was telling you that we would be talking about it in the next video we will be talking more and going into depth about this but for now how do you write a customized personal statement is you go to that particular school okay so for example now i've taken the example of university of minnesota and the general practice residency so you google you go to that particular program and this is the page that you come to but this is not exactly what we're looking for when you're writing a statement of purpose what we are looking for is the page that talks about residency goals now residency goals might seem very common each school will be writing all this that you see providing patient focused care health promotion disability prevention plan and provide multidisciplinary oral health but this is not what we are interested in i am interested in knowing about the school their mission something like to advance the resident skills in management of delivery and applying concepts of patient management behavioral management evidence based quality dental practice quality improvements and much more which will be discussed next time and how i am writing a customized personal tip this is just a preview of what you should be looking at and what you should be researching before you even think about writing a personal statement so to be continued and if you like our video just subscribe and like it below you can always email us and you can if you want to know anything if you want us to talk about any topic that you're interested in and follow us on facebook if you're interested for knowing more if you're interested in coaching with us for national dental boards and till then i'll see you again and we'll be back with continuation of this video okay take care